Okay, are we recording for the next one? We are, all right. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, just the derivative and fully simplified. I pasted it into Google Translate. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so that's, that. ooh, that second part looks ugly. Okay. Well, we could go quotient rule or we could go chain rule. What would you like? Probably up to you. Um, personally, personally, I like chain rule here. That is to say, fx equals 5x squared plus 7 power minus 1. And then the derivative, well, we bring down the power. We reduce the power by 1. And we multiply by the inside derivative, which is 10x. So the answer would be minus 10x over... 5x squared plus 7 all squared. Does squaring this open make it simpler? I don't know. I feel like this is this, as simple of a form I can make it. Um, yeah, I don't think I can, can get any simpler than that. All right, now what do we have to do here? gx is this function, find g derivative at pi over 2 and write your answer in the form of a plus log b, I'm guessing. Whoops. Okay, let's pick it. Interesting, set question. All right. Um, product and chain rule. Here goes. All right. First, we have the derivative of tan. So tan is 1 over cos squared. 1 over cos squared x over 2. And then times the derivative of x over 2, which is 1 over 2. And then log x stays the same. And then... Uh, tan x stays the same and then differentiate log x which is 1 over x so calculating the derivative at pi over 2 um, and of course making sure your calculator is in radian mode although cos uh, pi over 2 is just cos of 90 degrees which of course is 1 uh, no it's um zero ah but you're dividing by two again so it's actually pi over four yeah okay so this guy here on the calculator comes in to be two times one over two times log pi over two plus tan pi over four which is one times 1 over pi over 2, which is 2 over pi. Well, the 2's cancel, so that's log pi over 2 plus 2 over pi. Or in other words, 2 over pi plus log pi over 2. Oh, just be careful now, the, the fraction is there. Um, curious to what that is in a decimal form. That's about 1.088. Okay, so let me just check something here. <laughs> On the calculator. Ten uh, here. Yeah, okay, so I'm happy with that, but that's right. What's next now? Interesting kind of set mapping question. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, 
So what have we got here? A, B, C, F and G are functions. There's the mappings there. Uh, there's four elements and then four elements and B is three elements. Calculate G, F of three. Oh, well, that's, that's pretty nice, I think. G, F of three, huh? Well, first we calculate F of three, which takes us to Earth. That's G of Earth. Yeah, earth uh, and then g of earth would be w so f of 3 goes here and then g of that would take you to w uh, so this is asking me uh, the reason why or why not b to c b to c i'm not sure is it a function or bijective, injective? I'd need to translate for sure. Explain why B to C is rational, but not super projective. That is a one-to-one -one mapping, but not a mapping onto uh, B to C. And why do we have intellectual it's not top notch uh, i'm not sure sorry um but i'm just going to say what i think so they want to know why what's the story with uh b to c g so g is one to one because each value in the domain b will map to a unique value in the codomain c but it is not onto because the image of G is not the codomain, i.e. the image of G, from B that is, um, if you map all the points here, you'll end up getting X, W, and Z, which does not equal C. In other words, this guy uh, is missed out. So it's not onto, or also we say it's not surjective. I, I think that's what this question is looking for you to write here. G is uh, one to one because each value in the domain B will map to a unique value in the codomain C, but it is not onto because the image of G is not uh, equal to, is not equal to the codomain. Yeah. And the first point here, if you want to state it mathematically, is that g x does not equal g y if x does not equal y and x and y are in the domain for b so in other words as uh as long as you pick two different x and y's in b uh you'll always get different uh uh What's the word? Images, I guess. Transfer uh, uh, mappings. Uh, I think that's okay. Mm, not a hundred percent. Not a hundred percent on that one, but I think it's okay. All right. 